Milkshakes, also known as cold cream smoothies, also known as motorized blendicles, also known as ice cream frictionist maximus, are a great way of taking something that melts in your mouth and making it into something you drink with your face. You suck at cooking, yeah you totally suck. The ratio of ice cream to milk I mostly use is around one cup of ice cream, ideally frozen, to one third cup of milk. And that's going to vary based on how thick you like your milkshake, how dense your ice cream is, how dry your your milk is and how close you live to the sun. I get my milk from this synthetic udder I had installed in my kitchen. Now we'll put that stuff in a blender along with a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now we have our first milkshake, classic vanilla. Now balance your blender vessel up against the wall to get every bit of that liquid gold or get tongue elongation surgery. Now usually the garnish tells you what kind of milkshake you've got, so we'll garnish this with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Enjoy. Fun fact. The reason it's called vanilla ice cream is because vanilla ice cream is traditionally sold out of the back of a van. By the way, you don't need to use a traditional blender. You can also use a stick blender. And if your blender isn't strong enough, you can flip it over and if you look closely, you can see that it's now in the trash and it's time to get a new blender. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Shh. Lastly, you can tape a fork to a wang jangler, then make blender noises and hope for the best. <laughs> Okay, that was supposed to be a joke, but it turns out you don't need a blender to make a milkshake. You can do it with just a fork. The second milkshake is super easy. I'm gonna up my ice cream to a cup and a half and keep the milk at a third cup. Then add one teaspoon of ginger powder and vanilla ginger. This may seem simple, and it is simple, but it will blow your taste buds' minds. Now garnish with a small piece of ginger, and since it has ginger in it, this milkshake can also be used as a cold remedy, an anti-nauseant, an anti-inflammatory, and is a good all-around health drink. Now we'll make a peanut butter chocolate milkshake. Same vanilla base as the last one, two tablespoons of chocolate syrup, or one tablespoon of cocoa powder if you want it less sweet, and a big bastard spoonful of peanut butter. <laughs> There's this thing milkshake makers do sometimes where they smear the key ingredient on the inside of the milkshake vessel so that you can see what kind of milkshake it is. So go ahead and do that if you want to waste some peanut butter and chocolate syrup. And I'm going to also give it a peanut butter cocoa rim to make it a peanut butter chocolate milkshake arita. But if you don't want to smear ingredients to show what the milkshake is, feel free to just make a sign instead. Now we're going to make banana caramel. Two cups of ice cream, maybe half a cup of milk, a full banana, and two or three tablespoons of caramel sauce, then a pinch of salt. You can call this salted caramel if you want, but it's really salted everything that's in the milkshake, so let's not give caramel any special attention. Let's call it salted banana with caramel or salted milk with other stuff. And instead of smearing caramel on the inside of the glass, let's smear caramel on the outside of the glass so it's easy to lick off. Then we'll garnish that with a banana. Now we'll make a maple coconut milkshake, which happens to be vegan, by freezing a can of coconut milk, realizing that was a mistake because I can't get it past my blender blades, even with pickaxing, until I hacked it apart and added around a half cup of almond milk and two to three tablespoons of maple syrup. <laughs> then garnish it with the can. Now we'll make a matcha green tea and honey milkshake, a cup and a half or two of ice cream, some milk, a teaspoon of matcha powder, one or two teaspoons of old crusty honey, and we'll garnish that with a honeycomb. Or if you have a full bee's nest, that can be a really nice treat. And if you make too much milkshake, you can put it in a mug in the freezer with a stick to make a popsicle and then remember you're freezing ice cream so it's not going to be a popsicle, it's just going to be very delicious ice cream. So, you know, maybe next time instead use logic before trying that or just eat the ice cream. 